Yo, New York Yankees fans, yet again, it is Felix from NYNews.com. Like always, hola, como estas? Yankees fans, it's that time of the year. Congratulations to the Atlanta Braves. I know I'm late, but um, I haven't uploaded a video since they won the World Series. And it's amazing. They won it without utilizing a whole bunch of players that they don't. For an example, like Johan Carmago, who is a sleeper, might I add. A switch hitter, third baseman, utility infielder that the Braves barely utilize. And they did it without uh, Acuna either. So congratulations to the Atlanta Braves. It doesn't matter. Well, it does matter how many games you win in the regular season. But it matters when you get hot and get on a roll. The Braves certainly proved that. And so did the uh, Washington Nationals in 2019. So again, it's that time of the year again. The hot stove, that time of the year where Yankees fans in particular are on the edge of their seats waiting for the Yankees to act like the Yankees and, you know, sign everybody and their mother. If you ask me, that's what's going to happen. You have a whole bunch of disgruntled fans out there. And what better way to make a splash and, let's say, sign a Carlos Correa? I don't think the Yankees are going to sign Seager. I think they're going to sign Correa, to be honest with you guys. Yes, uh, Seager's a left-handed bat, but um, Carlos Correa has the numbers when it counts. His postseason numbers are incredible, and uh, the Houston Astros uh, insulted him. I mean, you know, $30 million uh, per year, but w w the years weren't there. It's not that insulting when we're talking about money and we're just regular people not making that kind of money, but it's pretty insulting when you offer a guy like Carlos Correa that kind of contract after what he did for your franchise, you could call him like a franchise player as well. So, uh, yeah, uh, Carlos Correa is not re-signing with the Astros. Also, for an example, you got guys in the minor leagues like Volpe, Peraza, waiting for their shot. Volpe has a lot of uh, fans out there, rightfully so. He's been performing. He's basically the best uh, form hand that the Yankees have. And if you sign a guy like uh, Carlos Correa, he has the body frame to uh, move over to third base. And again, you guys know that I would love the idea of Carlos Correa on his team. I've been saying it for over three years now when it was the unpopular thing to say. And plus, I like it even more because it triggers these, um, screw Correa, he's a cheater. I don't want him on my team. He bit the Yankees by cheating. You know, it triggers those kinds of fans. But, um, you know, the Astros have reached the World Series over and over again after that scandal. So, and Carlos Correa's numbers are still there when it counts the uh, postseason. And you could say he's a semi-all-star uh, in the regular season. I'm not saying they didn't cheat, but obviously Carlos Correa's numbers weren't that affected that much. You know, like his arm, his defense, that guy has a cannon for an arm. He's just clutch. He has the uh, the attitude of a player that I want on this specific team. See, I've been complaining a lot that this team is soft. They need a showboater like Carlos Correa. Simple as that. So moving along, there's talk out there that the Yankees, or I haven't heard this specifically, that the Yankees would be interested in signing a Verlander. You see, back in 2017, I took a lot of flack when it came to the Yankees training for Sonny Gray or the uh, talk that they wanted to trade for Sonny Gray was between Verlander and Gray. And a whole bunch of people were pushing Sonny Gray to the Bronx, even the new big newspapers. I'll give credit to the uh, Yes Network. They were actually pushing for a Justin Verlander. But um, long story put short, I told my boy Pete, I said, hey, the team that trains for Verlander, they're going to be your 2017 World Series champions. And bam, it happened. I was 100% pushing for the Yankees to trade for Verlander. But if you ask me today, do I like to see Verlander as a Yankee, I would have to tell you no. You see, this is going to rub some people the wrong way. But um, I'm going to be 100% real. The 2022 season is going to be an experiment for Garrett Cole. As we saw his numbers 
get wacky after uh, sticky substances being banned. There's been talk in the past that Justin Verlander is that same kind of picture, that he needs help with the grip, gripping the baseball. So I would not like a 39, 38-year-old joining the Yankees when I know he's that same kind of picture. And I'm not trying to bash Garrett Cole. I'm not just trying to experiment with two guys. And knowing that Justin Verlander is an all-star type pitcher, imagine if he implodes in, in New York, this guy's just going to get destroyed. So yeah, in 2021, NY News Felix is now passing on Justin Verlander after being a fanboy of his back in 2017. Moving along, Luis Castillo. And I'm going to tell you this, I'm going to take credit for sparking that rumor that got so big that the Reds GM had to come out and say, uh, Luis Castillo is not on a trade market. I'll take credit for that. I've made numerous videos about Luis Castillo. But he's another one. He had an, a weird finish as well. He finished about, what, 8 and 16 or something like that? But his numbers were somewhat there. Was he another pitcher affected by the sticky substance ban? Who knows? There's a lot of talk that it's going to be added or whatever, taken out of, of the uh, negotiations, the CBA, where they're going to put a better grip on the baseball. I don't know. But it seems to me these uh, power pitchers, you know, curveball pitchers, were basically destroyed by uh, this ban. So who knows if they uh, allow these pitchers to somewhat get a better grip on the baseball with these negotiations. We... We don't even know if there's going to be a season in 2022. Who knows? But if you ask me if uh, Luis Castillo's out there, I've made plenty of videos about him. I always wanted him as a Yankee, but something tells me that Brian Cashman is not that smart and he's going to pass on him. Hey, maybe he could prove me wrong, but Brian Cashman, his credibility with me is gone down the drain for obvious reasons. And when I say me, I mean mostly the Yankees fans out there. Yes, Luis Castillo is available, confirmed by the Reds themselves. Let's see. Now, moving along to the first base situation. Do you resign Rizzo? Do you make a trade with the Athletics for an Olsen? Or do you move DJ LeMahieu, who's going to be a Yankee for seasons to come, do you move him to first base permanently? You see, here's my take. I had this uh, opinion a few uh, weeks ago. You train Glaber Torres. You make that train with the Oakland A's. You sign a Carlos Correa. And boom, that's your uh, 2022 infield. Uh, Matt Olsen, DJ LeMay, who has second base, Carlos Correa at shortstop, and Gio Urshela at third. It's that simple. Play DJ LeMahieu in his natural position. You have a chip in Torres. You could basically include him in the package for any player out there. And, you know, Matt Olsen would fit perfectly in the Bronx. That swing would dominate in the Bronx. And he's on the trade market. So, yeah, I would do it. Uh, Nice knowing you, Glaber. Wrapping this up. Here's the, top, here's the players that I would like the Yankees to obtain, just uh, wrapping it up from what I was saying earlier. Matt Olsen, Carlos Correa, and maybe a Luis Castillo. All these players, one of these players you get via free agency, two of these players you get via trade. And oh yeah, I just reminded myself of this, that uh, Luis Rojas, the former manager of the Mets, is potentially going to join the New York Yankees as a third base coach or whatever. And a lot of Yankees fans hated that idea or hate that idea. Why? It is a positive, in my opinion, bringing in a Dominican coach. Are these guys forgetting about Tony Pena? Luis Rojas comes from a baseball family. Do you guys forget who his father is? So hell yeah, I like that idea. Bring him over here. He's going to help a lot of Latin players on this ball club. I'm not saying the Yankees don't have Latino coaches like Mendoza 
but this guy, there's a whole bunch of Dominicans playing for you guys. So yes, make it happen. It's close to happening, but yes, make it happen. I know there's a lot of players that I left out. If you guys want to uh, leave your opinions, we have a new segment called NYY News Mic Pass. And the information to submit your audio was left on there. Hey, if you guys disagree with me or need to chime in some more, send me your audios. So, again, leave your opinions in the comment section below. And like always, this has been Felix from NYNews.com. Share, like, and subscribe, and I will check you out next time.